Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about Kerberos protocol, topic of network security. In this video, I have covered history of Kerberos, what is Kerberos, requirement, Kerberos terminology, working of Kerberos, is Kerberos symmetric or asymmetric, is Kerberos safe. Now we can start with history of Kerberos. So history of Kerberos, uh, in Greek mythology, a multi-headed dog, the guardian of the entrance, is called Kerberos. But in our technical terms, what is Kerberos? Kerberos is a network authentication protocol that works on the basis of tickets to allow nodes communicating over a non-secure network to prove their identity to one another in a secure manner. It means whenever client want to communicate with the server, so before communicating the server, client must provide authentication to the Kerberos server and Kerberos server will access or we can say grant their permission to access the server. Next, what do the three heads of Kerberos represent? Kerberos is a three-step security process used for authorization and authentication. We all know that the definition of authentication is receiver should know that a message was sent by original sender. This is called authentication. The three heads of the Kerberos are first one is the user or we can say client machine, second one key distribution center or we can say key distribution service that is called KDC and the third one is the services from the server or we can say accessing the servers by the user. So Kerberos is a standard feature of Windows software. Uh, nowadays Windows 10 is mostly used in all of the machines. So Kerberos version 5 is installed in Windows 10. Next, why Kerberos? Kerberos is an authentication protocol that is used to verify the identity of a user or host. The authentication is based on the tickets used as a credentials, allowing communication, uh, communication and provide uh, identity in a secure manner even over a non-secure network. We have already discussed about that in the definition of Kerberos. Next, requirement of Kerberos. First, secure. Kerberos should be strong enough that a potential opponent does not find it to be the weak link. So we can say uh, Kerberos protocol uh, is provide strongest security uh, from uh, user to a particular server. And before user will access that server, uh, that user will communicate with the Kerberos server and provide the identity of that particular user. So we can say this is the strongest security provided by the Kerberos server. Next, reliable. Reliable means uh, the services is continuously available for the users. So we can say if one server is fail, then another backup server is available for the user or we can say client. So a Kerberos uh, protocol will provide the reliability to the client. Next, transparent. Ideally, the user should not be aware the authentication is taking place beyond the requirement to enter a password. It means user does not uh, enter their password or uh, without entering a password, user can provide uh, their identity to the particular server. Next, scalable. The system should be capable of supporting large number of clients and server. This suggests a modular distributed architecture. It means many number of clients can connect it at any time to the servers and Kerberos servers. Next, Kerberos protocol terminology. So this is uh, one of the architecture of the Kerberos server. Authentication server, a server that issue the ticket for a desired service which are in turn given to users for access to the services. So this is the authentication server from the key distribution center. So first of all, client will communicate with the authentication server and provide their identity to the authentication server. So authentication server will generate one ticket and provide to the client. Client, an entity on the network that can receive a ticket from the Kerberos. So this is the client. Client will access the ticket from the authentication server, then provide authentication to the ticket granting server and ticket granting server provide another ticket to access the server. Credentials, a temporary set of electronic credentials that verify the identity of a client for a particular service. It is called a ticket. 
so in ticket uh, users credential are included also identity of the users are included next credential case or ticket file a file which contains the keys for encrypting communication between a users and various network services so we can say in ticket there is uh, one key is available for the uh, communication with uh, server and client next crypt has has function use the authentication for the users next key data used when encrypting or decrypting other data or we can say there is a bit stream is used for encrypting the data before sending to client to server or server to client next key distribution center a service that issue kerberos ticket and which usually run on the same host as the ticket granting server so this is the key distribution center next riam a network that uses kerberos composed of one or more servers called kdzs and a potentially large number of client so we can say there are number of kerberos servers are available and communicate with each other this is called kerberos riam next ticket granting servers a server that issues ticket for a desired service which are in turn given to users for access to the service the tgs usually runs on the same host as the kdc so here there are two servers are available in the key distribution center one is the authentication server and second one is the ticket granting server in authentication server client will provide their identity so authentication server will generate one ticket to access the ticket granting server so client will take the ticket from the authentication server and send to the ticket granting server so ticket granting server or we can say tgs uh, generate one ticket to communicate with the client and server and send to the client so client will provide the ticket to the server and server will allow to access the services next ticket granting ticket a special ticket that allow the client to obtain additional tickets from the kdc so here you can see over here ticket granting ticket the use of this tgt or we can say ticket granting ticket is to accessing the ticket granting servers next working of kerberos step number one authentication service verified the user id now see the authentication server receives the request by the client and verifies that the client id so first of all uh, this client or we can say user want to communicate with the another server and access the services from that server so before access that services client will provide their user id to the authentication server so in this figure you can see over this is the client and this is authentication server next step number two in step number two verification a timestamp is created with the current time in a user session with expiration date the timestamp ensure that when 8 hours is the up the encryption key is useless so timestamp is included uh, in the particular ticket which is used for to access the ticket granting server and other servers step number 3 the key is sent back to the client in the form uh, of a tgt so now you can see over here this is the ticket granting ticket so this ticket granting ticket or we can say tgt will be provided by the authentication server to the client so client will accept that tgt step number four in step number four the client submit the ticket granting ticket to the tgs to get authenticated so tgt will be provided by the client to the ticket granting server so ticket granting server will verify that tgt next step number five the tgs creates an encrypted key with a timestamp and grant the client a service to the ticket so another ticket will be generated by the tgs and sent to the client there is encrypted key is included and timestamp is also included so after eight hours encrypted key will be expired step number six the client decrypt the ticket and send acknowledgement to the tgs next step number seven client sends its own encrypted key to the server so in this figure you can see over here there are three servers are there one is the authentication server one is ticket granting server and third one is the server the client will actually want to communicate with that server to access the services so now client provide their encrypted key to the server and also timestamp is included in that key 
the server decrypt the key and check timestamp is still valid or not. If the timestamp is not valid, then server cannot communicate with the client. If timestamp is valid, then server start to communicate with the client. Next, step number 8. In step number 8, the client decrypt the ticket uh, get from the uh, servers if the keys are still valid. So, communication is initiated between the client and server. Now, the client is authenticated until the session expires. Next, is Kerberos symmetric or asymmetric? Kerberos is capable of both symmetric and asymmetric cryptography. Is Kerberos safe? Kerberos is more secure than the other authentication methods because it does not send plain text password over the network and instead of password uses encrypted tickets. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirak Balodia. Press bell icon to get new video notification. Follow my blog ED Resources. Thank you.